Hey guys, my name is Amanda and welcome to my channel. But I wanted to start sharing something that I've been really passionate about for years and years and years since I've been in high school and before. I have been a thrift, secondhand, resale shopper my whole life. I have been doing a lot of research lately on the environment, on sustainability and fashion, and I think it is a really, really important time to start worrying about that and I think so many awesome companies really have and we've been taking strides, huge strides in the right direction but there is still so much more that we can do and literally the least I can do is share my experiences and how I shop. I wanted to create this series so this is the first episode in my how I thrift, how I shop resale, how I shop consignment shops, um, just how I shop series. Like I said this is focused on resale, on consignment, on pre-owned pieces so I thought what better way to start than to shop your own closet because there is nothing better that you can buy than nothing at all. We absolutely have more than enough that we need and I think nowadays especially in the internet and fashion blogging really pushes consumerism and really pushes buying more and needing more and needing that new piece and that new pair of shoes and that new handbag and that new top and buying brand new and buying from Amazon and all of these so easy click to shop methods is just really deteriorate de <laughs> deteriorating or deteriorating deteriorating it's really deteriorate oh my god <laughs> I need to say something else all of these methods are just really ruining our planet. So welcome to the first episode of my How I Shop series. I really just want to focus on how to shop your own closet, how to rewear old pieces that you've worn maybe a few times before and you're thinking of getting rid of or you just don't wear it as often as you have in the past or maybe you've bought a piece that you have never worn at all. I know I'm guilty of that. I'm going to show you a few methods, a few little ways and tips and tricks on how to really keep your closet all the pieces that you wear and actually wear all the pieces in your closet if that makes sense because those are two different thoughts i know they are and then i am also going to pull three pieces from my own closet that i have never worn i am going to show you how i would style them and maybe style them a little differently than maybe something you would think so without further ado let's get started okay so this is where i keep all of my clothes Yes, this is it. I actually have two racks in the room next to me that have all the clothes that I need to get rid of because I have a lot of them. So this is everything right here. I know it doesn't look like much, but there's shelving units on the side. There's literally a pile of sweaters. And then up here I keep... I actually don't switch out my clothes for the seasons as I think about it. But I have like dresses here, I have tops, I have jackets and coats and blazers on the bottom. So I'm going to pull out a few pieces that I have never worn. I know I have a few in there. So yeah, here we go. Ouch. This I have never worn. It is so cool. It is a fringe vintage. It's actually, I think a shirt, but I would wear it like a jacket. I have never found a good way to wear it. So this is piece number one, fringe. Jackie. This one already fell off the hanger, so it picked itself. I actually bought this at Goodwill. <laughs> I bought this at Goodwill for like $3. It's BCBG Max Azria. It is a pretty long, pretty and long pink, like magenta thin cotton duster. And I think it's so cool. It caught my eye and when I saw it for $3, I'm like, I need that, but I haven't worn it. So that's piece number two. So this one I also bought resale. It is, I think originally from Anthropology. It's a brand called Winter Kate. And it has, it's all silk too. It's beautiful. It has little feathers on it. It looks blue on camera, but it's like a gray in person. Yeah, it's like gray and off white. Um, it's kind of like a short kimono is how I would describe it. Just the way that it's cut. Really cute. Again, I loved it when I bought it, but have never worn it. So those are my three pieces. I guess I will just go through. Sorry, I didn't really think this part through very hard. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to kind of go through my closet and just start picking out pieces that I would wear with them. So I guess you can kind of see my styling process in action. <laughs> Starting with this one. Honestly, I feel like this would be cool even like cut 
and cropped. I might do that, but not right now. I'm going for, at least what I think I'm going for is like a Western vibe, but also still a little edgy. And I don't know, we're just gonna shop our closet and see what happens. <laughs> I do have my pants and my jeans in a different room. So if you see me go off camera and get a pair of pants, that's where I went. <laughs> could be cute. It could be really freaking ugly. So I have these cool pants from Zara that have a little white and red striped on the side. And then I have this, I think I bought this at Buffalo Exchange, which is a resale shop. This is originally from Forever 21, but it's like a little knockoff band tee because they're not real bands. And then I pulled these red boots and these white Nike sneakers. My first thought was these, but I think the pants are short. So might have to go with these. So this one, especially since it's pink and it's thin and it's really good for the summer, I want to do something. Oops. Oops. I want to do something more girly. Honestly, I think when I see this, I just think like a cute white tank top and a pair of skinny jeans and like a cute pair of pumps. It might be a little safe on the safe side, but it could be really cute too. I think, I think I'm going to try that. I bought this one at Nordstrom last year from the Nordstrom sale. And I actually almost got rid of it a few times because it's very revealing. And I am not a revealing kind of gal, but I think with this, it will be cute. And then I picture just like a pair of tight, light wash skinnies and maybe just a pair of nude pumps. Okay, we got the jeans. These are a pair of free people ones with holes in the knees. And I got just a pair of nude open toe pump sandals. Like I said, it's a little safe, but it'll do. This one, in my mind, I have the idea to do like a cute, pretty dress and maybe like a belt and maybe some like over the knee boots because I actually just got a pair of over the knee boots that are the same color. That could be cute. What kind of dress though? Ah, that could be perfect. Okay, so it's a little girly, but it's a little boho. Let me grab the belt. Maybe like a big necklace too. Ooh, ooh. Oh, these are gonna be perfect. So these are from Goodnight Macaroon. I have these in brown too, and I just got them in taupe. I also have this belt that I bought from a consignment shop. And I have this funky necklace that I bought from like some scammy website when I first started vlogging. But it's really cool. It's really like boho, and I think it'll be perfect to that look. And I never would have put this outfit together otherwise. But just seeing it in my closet and trying to think of it in a different way than I typically would just really put me in a different mindset, a different headspace. Whatever. <laughs> now I'm going to try on these three outfits and see if they work, see if they don't. If they do, then maybe we're onto something. So, here we go. Ooh, that could even be a look. I actually don't mind the boots. So I accidentally had the pants tucked into the boots when I put them on and that looks kind of cool. What do we think? <laughs> and now for the jacket, shirt, whatever it is. So I definitely think I would cut this because it's just a really awkward length but I think cropped, especially with this outfit, it would be so cool. I love the sleeves, I love the fringe. I thought I would like the boots better, but the boots are just not the right shade of red, so I think I'm going to try these sneakers again. I totally forgot I had these sneakers, so I bought these at Nordstrom Rack for like 50 bucks on clearance, and there is no brand inside. I mean, there is, but it's like a VM and I couldn't find anything similar online. So if you know what these are, please let me know because I have no idea. So the pants are kind of a weird length, but these totally work. The jacket is like, I mean, it's a shirt technically. If I were to button it and wear it like a shirt, well, maybe even like tucked in. That's kind of cool. That's even kind of a look. Okay, okay. 
Now, I feel like if this were cropped, I would wear it so much more often, but I don't mind this. I think it's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, definitely like a craft. Okay, look number two. And for the piece. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I would so wear this. This is so cute. I love that this hangs kind of off the shoulder. It's just like a good like summer evening kind of outfit because this is so thin. And I like that this is blousey. These are tight and this is really tight and then it's flowy. I just think it has good proportions and good tight to loose ratio. I would just throw on like a little purse with it. So cute. I am all about this one. Love it. I would say if I had to rate the first one, I would rate the first one like a seven out of 10 of like an, I would actually wear that. This one, 10 out of 10, would absolutely wear this. And for look number three. <laughs> also, I look so tan and red. I just got a spray tan and I haven't washed it off. So if I look a little ridiculously tan, that's why. <laughs> So I'm gonna put this on first because I wanna belt it. It has little buckles right here and that always throws me off because that's so <laughs> ugly like that. <laughs> I feel like a kindergartner. I'm gonna put a belt here. Okay, you know, I'm not quite there yet, but I think I'm getting there. So I think what I'm not feeling is this neckline, so I'm gonna try that necklace. I think this might be the issue. I'm not really feeling these two together, so we're gonna try maybe just one of each. I really don't like the neckline, so I think I'm gonna keep the necklace, take off the belt. This dress actually has a little sash that I can put in the front too. It's cute, it's kind of boho, it's like casual, but I like it, the necklace better than the belt. I'm digging it, I could dig this. This is like a nine and a half out of 10, I would say. Not a totally, okay, necklace just broke. So it's a nine out of 10. Not quite everything I imagined it would be, but it's cute enough. Maybe I just need like a different necklace, I don't know. I have a big turquoise one. Let me try the turquoise one. Oh yeah, I think this is what it was missing. I don't know, did I like the silver better? I don't know, this one would need a little bit more perfecting. Maybe a hat or something, but it's okay. It's okay, it's a nine out of 10. Maybe an eight and a half. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. It was a little different than I had planned it to be, but I had fun and I definitely would wear these pieces. Like I said, I could tweak this one a little bit more and I could tweak the first one a little bit more, but I, I'm definitely much more eager to wear these pieces than I was before, even though I've had them in my closet for literally years. So I hope you enjoyed that. I have some really fun ideas for this series. I'm going to shop all different types of places, all different types of resale places, showing you how I clear things out of my closet. Just really want to cover every aspect of sustainable fashion as far as resale and thrift. I did want to give a couple other little tips that I didn't talk about earlier but that I meant to and now it wouldn't make sense and I don't want to have to change back into those clothes so that it looks like I can edit it back in. Anyway, so a couple other little tips that you can do to cycle through your closet more, more quickly is to switch things out seasonally. Like I said earlier, I don't do that, but I know I would be a lot more likely to do so if I had less things in my closet and just only what I wear during that season. Like right now I have my heavy coats in my closet at all times and I don't know why. It's 90 degrees outside. So now they're just taking up space. They're just making me less likely to even wear things 
that are in season on the bottom rack. Another little tip would be to, I've seen this I think on the Today Show, but if you put the items in your closet with the hanger facing the opposite direction until you wear it or vice versa, that way you can cycle through your pieces more quickly and you're more likely to wear something that is facing the opposite direction. My third tip, which actually goes into the fourth tip, would be to go through your closet weekly, bi-weekly, maybe even monthly, depending on how many pieces you have. Really analyze what you wear and what you don't wear and find the best way to sell it because if someone pays for it, they're a lot more likely to put value in it versus if you give it to somebody or if you donate it, it's a lot less likely to go into loving hands, if that makes sense. My fourth tip, which I said kind of goes with the third one, is every time you buy a new item, take one old item out. It's probably the oldest trick in the book, but I always do it because I have only a certain amount of my wooden hangers, and if I don't have a wooden hanger for it, it's not staying in my closet. So it really, really forces me to actually cycle through my old things, the things that I don't wear, things that I don't wear, but I always know that I should give a shot, like these three pieces that I wore. But it's really just a great way to keep your closet fresh and make you excited to get dressed in the morning. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Please stay tuned for part two. I'm going to put this on YouTube and then possibly a little something something on IGTV too. So follow me at manda.in.bloom on Instagram if you don't already. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye. What's the anime? <laughs>